here I have another plate. Uh, and it looks somewhat similar to the plate we used the other day. Uh, except, you know, with that plate, I think we had an isosceles right angled triangle. Does this one look like an isosceles? No, it does look like it's its sides have different lengths. We're dealing with a scalene right angle triangle here today. And I want to see if what Pythagoras said about triangles is true with the scalene right angled triangle. So let's see if the sum of the squares built on the legs of this right triangle uh, equal the square built on the hypotenuse. Okay, so let me show you how we can do this. What do you see? Look at all the pieces that from those squares built off the legs did fit inside the square built off the hypotenuse. So what Pythagoras said is true for this uh, triangle as well, that the sum of the squares built on the legs of a right angle triangle equal the square built on the hypotenuse. Who'd like to try this? Does someone else want to do it? I want to take another look at this plate today because I noticed something about the sides of these triangles, this triangle. I can see here that this leg of the triangle has a, a value of one, two, three of these units. It has a, it has a length of three. And here on this side, this leg, I can see a length of one, two, three, four. And the hypotenuse, I can see has a length of one, two, three, four, five. So that means that here we have a three square, here we have a four square, and here we have a five square. We have a square of five on the hypotenuse. Let's write that down a little bit. So Pythagoras said that the sum of the squares built on the legs of a right triangle equals the square built on the hypotenuse. So let's, let's do that addition. Let's do that equation. That means we have a three square here plus a four square equals the square built on the hypotenuse, which is a five square. Let's see if that's true. We can do that with uh, arithmetic, can't we? What's the value of three square? It's nine. And the value of four square is 16. And the value of five square is 25. Nine plus 16 equals 25. That's true. So Pythagoras was right. The square built, not only did they all fit, but we can do it, check it with our arithmetic as well. I wonder if it's true for every right triangle. You might like to find that out. At a certain point with the children, then you can bring them back and show them or help them recognize the uh, 
algebraic formula, that it does indeed work for every triang right triangle, and the, therefore we can put some variables in it so that we can have a formula of a squared plus b squared equals c squared.